it's a good one. It's a good one to start the day. Four years ago, I quit my boring nine to five job and told myself I'd become a full-time eBay seller, work for myself and vlog every bit of it on YouTube. Strange I know, but four years later, I'm still here and absolutely loving it. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look into my working life, starting with the trip to the flea market to source some stock. We'll head back to the office to discuss what's selling for me and then we'll head out to the thrift stores to find even more stock. Welcome to the day in the life of a full-time eBay seller. How much on these ones? 15? I'll take those. Yeah, I'll take that one. Appreciate it. The money person over here? All right. Lovely. Thank you very much. It's a good one. It's a good one to start the day. Half price. Come and grab a bargain. Goodness me. Bundy rum. I reckon he's um, thrifted that. Oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. What do you reckon? I should buy it and walk around like this the rest of the day. It's got the tie and the hat. How cool. Look at this thing. This is the Brownie Cresta 3 camera. Kodak. Do you know if it works alright? Yep. Yeah, it does. Never been used. Jeez, that's pretty good. It's got 50 on it. Does that mean 50 plus half price, sir? You can't get away with $25. $25. Just going to eBay this. No real data on eBay. He Hello, boys. Hello. How, are you? How are we finding it? But look at those. Oh, wow, lovely. They're actually in great. Yeah, no. uh, they're a good size. Oh, what a shame! It's all glued. Ten. What do you mean? Didn't even get him. Oh, you see the rip in the fabric right there? Come on now, boys. <laughs> I do my quality inspects. Three. Would you go ten on it? Oh, you got threes on it, don't you? Yeah, I'll go ten on it. Yeah, no problem, mate. Well, you know what? I actually, I'll give you, I'll give you ten to make life easy, hey? Here we go. Thank you. No, no, no. You sure? Yeah, ten. You're a star. Thank you. One of my worst negotiations ever. Nine bucks? Would you take ten? I was going to do it as a bundle, that one. Yeah, I think that was similar to what we got, and it was thirty-five. I'll try and do like something like that. M&M's. Always looking for M&M stuff. This is, doesn't say what year. It says try me, do you reckon it'll work? It works. That's incredible. He works too? Oh, ho, ho. how much you got on him? Would you go, would you go 10 for the pair? Yeah, we'll do 10 yeah. on the pair. All right, let's do it. I like them, there you go, 10 bucks. Thank you, Thank you guys. Remember the Razor scooters? Do you used to have one of these? So did I. I used to burn out the back wheel. I'll take that one, guys. There we go. Five on it. Amazing. Thank you very much. I'm using the e-profit calculator and I'm also using the eBay app. Um, when I walk away from items I'm on the fence about. So really important to be doing that no matter where you are, whether you're at a garage sale, flea market, op shop. I talk about it a lot in my videos and now that we're out here sourcing, I'm, I'm showing you how I'm doing it. What have you bought? Um, 60 bucks. Now that's nice. I think I think two of them I'll get. That Budweiser one's pretty cool. Are they belt buckles? Yeah. Yeah. I think two of them I'll get like 60 bucks. And that then, is, what's that Australia logo? 
that oh, one. Oh, you've also got the, yeah. you got that um, Cougar Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. Dude, these will actually the do really... The ones, like, they're, they're pretty old. I would, yeah, you I would have grabbed these. 88. What's under that? Was like, oh, guy was, is that a Harley? The guy's like 10 bucks each. That's a Harley one. Yeah. The guy's like 10 bucks each, and I'm like, well, what, would you do five if I took the lot? And he's like, yeah. So that's a 1978. Belt buckle for Harley, Harley Davidson. Davidson belt buckle. And You'll do really well on those. Kill it. Kill yeah. It. You'll do really and then, well. And for 60, that's good. It's that it's condition. It's the top. Which I thought was really good. Well, from the looks of it for me, I personally think they're just a genuine pair of Prada shoes that have been worn forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, not even forever. That's, that's like five wears. That's nothing, right? Is it? <laughs> Get her on the video. <laughs> She's not on. <laughs> She's not on. Yet? Hey. Matter of time. They'll love you. <laughs> I like this. What is that? Little VB. Little, little... I like that. See, I can't put my bottle of whiskey in there, won't fit. It's a bit small, isn't it? I know. But they do okay. Is it? I have no idea. I'll take it. How much on this one? Uh, two bucks, mate. Let's do it. Yeah, I did one of these for 35. Really quickly. And this is this is a vintage one, vintage VB. You wouldn't think much about this, but it does actually do pretty well. You would type it all in. Well, no good. What's it worth? Thirteen. Thirteen. And what'd you pay for all of them? Fifteen for the lot. I'll Fif make more money back. Fifteen for the lot. That's what you get for being um, complacent and hey, looking shit up. I did that as well with some Wii games. They were, it was nine dollars worth of Wii games. No, and that's alright. Twenty-five. Nine dollars worth of Wii games, Jamie. Yeah. I paid 10. I like that. <laughs> Helping someone out. And then we've got a bunch of top loaders. Oh, that's good. I've got both. <coughs> and some card savers. Sick. 10 bucks. Well, mate, it's not, it's not, because you know, the guys that are watching this know that you're a genius out here in the, in the thrift, uh, uh, flea, so it's nice to see your stuff up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to see your stuff up. That's right. sales results to take you guys through. Uh, $9,251 is what we're at for revenue and we're sitting on July 22, so 22 days in and yet we're very, very close to hitting $10,000. So projections for the month of July is actually to do about $13,500 in revenue, which if you're a regular viewer of this channel, um, you'll know that that's well above what we, what we normally do. We normally average 10 to 11. Um, so we're feeling pretty good about things. Courtney and I have just done the Monday morning meeting down at the local coffee shop. We always do that. We go through YouTube analytics. Um, we go through eBay numbers. And both YouTube and eBay are doing amazingly at the moment. So thank you very much for watching because you're helping with the YouTube stuff. Um, so we've got 18 orders. There's a few orders here that we're not talking about in this video. Um, you'll see there's a lot of consoles that we're selling. So we talk about that all the time. So I don't really want to talk about it in this video today. Um, but they're continuing, uh, continually selling. We've got a lot of DVDs, only the two video games, and uh, a DVD player, and a pair of jeans. I don't know. It just seemed all pretty boring stuff, right? Mm. But it's just bread and butter that ticks over for us. Yep. Um, we do have six listings that have been able to sell that we wanted to talk about in the What Sold today for you guys. Um, Courtney's going to grab the first one, and uh, yeah, hopefully it can help you guys out. What have you got, Courtney? Oh, first of all, Courtney, you're feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling feeling a lot better. I wasn't here last week. No. I wasn't in. I got very, very sick um, again. But you've just been in bed for five days. Yeah, like with a full-on flu too. So um, it's been really good. But I'm back, feeling back. about sixty percent. Sixty percent. We'll be at eighty by Wednesday shift. Yep. Hundred by the end of the week. Surely. What have we got? What's the first item? Um, this one is a board game, which we only do a little bit of um, board games. When we source board games, we always try and find sealed brand new, just because there's so many parts in these games and it's hard to sell them complete for what they're worth. Um, but this one here, Wogopoly. Wogopoly? Um, I've never heard of it. No, neither. Is it Monopoly? I think it's Monopoly, but... It's not Monopoly, though. But Wog, yeah. Wog style Monopoly. Yeah, have fun. Um, <laughs> 
Matt found it about a month ago in the thrift shop. Um, so he got this one for six dollars, yeah. and we got a forty dollars sale price for this. Um, it was shipped for around twelve dollars as well, so it's pretty good, pretty good sell through rate. We usually with board games or like hard boxes like this, if it's not fragile, we'll butcher's paper and bubble wrap these, um, which we've had no issues with ever. So it's a good way to ship off items like this. And that is number six. Number, Number six, five to go. <laughs> Why do you think we were doing plush? Why is that in there? Does anyone want that? First person to DM me on Instagram gets it for free. But why is it in there? I don't know. Yeah. So it needs to go. Yeah, it does. If you want a Mario, um, you can put him on the... No, just put it back. <laughs> Anyone that wants a dodgy old Mario, you can um, just hit me up on Instagram and I'll, I'll ship it out to you for free. Don't even pay for shipping. Just give me your address. <laughs> Um, I'm in here for this. Uh, now, guys, you might have remembered at the flea market, I grabbed some Wallace and Gromit action figures. This wasn't the only set of Wallace and Gromit. How cool is Did you watch Wallace and Gromit? No. Oh, I love This is a show you should... I know, I know of it, though, yeah. It's a show you should go and watch. There he is there. That's Wallace. And Gromit's the dog. And I've actually got the dog in here. That's Gromit. There he is there. Yeah, cute. So these are old school vintage and I know that they're legit because I've got the little tag on the back. It says 1989. So mm. they're vintage Wallace and Gromit action figures. There was just a big wad of them, right, in uh, in the flea market and I paid ten dollars for the entire the entire lot. There was some chicken run stuff and then there were multiples of this Wallace and Gromit gear. So I, I ended up just splitting them up evenly and I've sold them for these for forty five dollars, mm. which is just ridiculous because I think the last set that we sold was fifty bucks. So good. Um, it had an extra one in there. Um, there's another grommet there too. So there were seven, I think, all up in this little collection. Six or seven. Um, we got $45. So we'll just put that in a small satchel, won't we? Yeah, bubble wrap. Just some bubble wrap. Um, you could even keep it in that, that Ziploc bag too. Mm. Um, so don't neglect those types of items. Here's another example. We're going to go and list this up as well. So this is some Smurfs from the 1970s. Um, so these Smurfs um, have got their date on the bottom somewhere on them. And we were looking at them before. Yeah, 1970, 1980. Um, we're gonna go 40 bucks because there's four of them. Just tiny little action figures, but these will sell just like the Wallen and Grommets. So if you're looking for unique items out there, maybe some items that you got lying around the house that you don't think are worth anything, there's some bloody good money in that. Two pairs of shoes, hey? Yes, the, ac the only two pairs of shoes actually um, in our sales over the weekend, both Asics. Um, a men's pair and a women's pair. These actually Matt only got in the flea yesterday. He paid 15 for them, but they're in such good condition. So we got an $80 sale price for these ones. In a couple of um, hours. Yeah, in a couple of hours. So very, very good. These ones we've only had for a little amount of time as well. Paid $10 for these ones. Amazing condition as well. And we got a 55, Matt? 55. 55 sale price for these as well. Um, Asics running shoes always do very well. Four years we've sold Asics running shoes and look, another what sold video, another 130 odd dollars in revenue. So good. I just think it's a really good ASP builder. If you want to get a higher average sale price, go for your shoes. We've obviously got a large tub of the shoes right here behind Corny. There's a good 25 tubs there. Condition though. But condition. Don't buy the crap like I used to do. Mm. Um, just buy better quality and you can see what I mean by these two right here. Yeah. Uh, now you don't always get the best of condition. This is a good example of that. This DVD set here, Scorpion, season one to four, was missing a disc. Um, so this was bought in a private buy. Uh, but I, I thought I'd just still go ahead and list it up, even though it was missing that disc there, right there. Um, the big one here, guys, to, the reason I wanted to talk about it in this video is we still got a $70 sale price for four seasons of this TV show. I think if it was complete, it was worth about 80 or 90. Uh, and then obviously missing a disc, I just thought we'd just drop the price ever so slightly um, and sell it off for 70 and we got the sale. So as long as you're honest <coughs> with your listing and you take photos like we did to show that there is a missing disc, um, you can still sell these items. So it's just about being authentic and honest and showing everything um, in, its, in its actual condition so that when the buyer receives it, there's no scaries. Don't try and hide marks in clothing or tears in pairs of shoes. Whatever the blemish is in the item or, or the product, just like this one right here, um, show it. Just let everyone know, put the item um, description with some information around it 
and you can still sell stuff like we sell stuff that doesn't work all the time yeah you just adjust your price to that obviously that's a good point like yeah. we did with this at 70 yeah. um, just to adjust it to make it a, a competitive price yeah but people still buy it yeah someone might have this extra extra disc that they're missing and now they've got a complete series set yeah next one a different category again um cameras this is an old school pentax i think that's how you say it um digital camera another one through aiden actually this one here um we've done really well with aiden's bow fire we've sold quite a bit already um but yeah old school working camera cameras do really well we don't really do too many cameras because we should we should but um it's hard to get your hands on them yeah we say they're hard to get your hands on but yeah what do we sell for a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. <laughs> what else is it to say? A hundred dollars. It's going to go into a box. Um, lots of bubble wrap, cameras and consoles. Always really well packaged. Um, probably for 12 bucks, do you reckon? Oh, yeah. oh, no, I actually think that'll go small satchel. Right. That'll go about 850. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's not very heavy. Yeah. And it's not very big. True. Um, so, yeah, you can actually put these sorts of items <laughs> into boxes. Maybe a touch smaller than this. Yeah. Um, and it will go for the same price as a small satchel price. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just something to keep an eye on when you're doing your shipping. But um, yeah, we thought we'd talk about those. I feel like everyone has like old, I threw out so many like old cameras and Nintendo DS stuff that I had growing up, which is really annoying. But this is stuff that's laying around the house for sure. You're someone on Depop. I am on Depop clothes, but yeah, some bags and clothes and shoes. Um, just my personal stuff, but yeah, I need to look into the thrift for more. What's the fees with Depop? Similar to eBay, um, but I promote my stuff on Depop as well, so you can promote as well. But I think it is about 9%, um, and then I always do an, another 5% on top of that. Similar to eBay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. We had some really good uh, clothing sales come through as well. This one here, Acne Studios is the brand. Courtney and I found this, well, it was like a year ago now. So long, yeah. yeah it was, maybe even over a year. Mm. Um, a bunch of high-end brands in a thrift store. We paid up for it. There it is there, Acne Studios. Um, this one was a size extra large, so I've actually been wearing it for the last year. Mm. And I forgot that it was even available for sale. And then on Sunday, it popped up for $140 worth of a sale price. So... Acne Studios, very, very high-end clothing brand. Not that we do much in the way of clothing. It's still only the three tubs. Because uh, I think that that brand, new, is like $500. It is. That's a yeah. great point, actually. If you search Acne Studios, their website, yeah. all their clothing is $500 plus items. Yeah. Um, so a big, big brand, pre-owned condition, 140 It's a win-win scenario. Um, Dries Bone, another fantastic high-end clothing brand as well. There it is right there. This one's just a men's size small um, for that reason, I had it up for 140 and I took a best offer for $100. Uh, I think we paid about 20 bucks for this. I can't exactly remember, but I just thought, yes, it was a $40 reduction off the price that I was asking for, but $100 worth of an average sale price to keep the momentum rolling for what is already a pretty good month. I thought I'd just go ahead and do that. Every now and again, I don't mind accepting generous offers, um, especially when they are three-figure numbers like this for a dry bone jacket. So what do you reckon? Medium satchel? Yeah. Medium satchel for that one um, should be about fifteen odd dollars to ship, mm -hmm. maybe less, twelve less. I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Dries Bone, Acne Studios, a couple of really good clothing brands as well. Now I've also had these um, two hundred and five, two hundred and five DVDs. It's a mix of TV and movies. If anybody's locally based here on the Gold Coast, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram and you can come and pick these up for free. Um, first person that messages me, let me know. There's definitely money to be made off buying them, you know, collecting them for free, no doubt. I mean, you, you could list up a few of these items. Um, we just have the new rule where we don't want to list anything that's under $15. And the majority of these listings do fall under that price point. So if you can make it work going unregistered and not having a tracking number, um, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. Uh, you can come and grab these. So something that's been taking up a lot of my time recently has been these mentoring sessions that I'm offering. Um, basically anyone can book in for a one hour call with me to ask any questions that they've got to do with their eBay business. Uh, and today I've got Tina uh, for an hour. And uh, Tina basically wants improvements and, and growth hacks basically for her eBay business. She's just starting out and she wants to eventually become a full-time uh, seller. Um, and she needs help on effective sourcing, just pure overwhelm, she says here with regards to eBay. 
um, and she also wants some help around comping up price points uh, to get an effective price point for her listing. Uh, looking forward to speaking to Tina. Uh, one hour calls go by pretty quick when we're right in the thick of it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to helping Tina out and getting her underway. Got some really good results in the DVD category, guys. This is my second best selling category this year. This first one here, Fringe, just a season five copy selling for $30. I'll often buy part season sets of these DVDs and then later on down the track, hopefully I can find more copies to create the entire set. Um, I also found a video game in the collection here as well. This was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the PlayStation 3. Um, being a steel case, it's more of a collector's item. I should be able to get about 20 bucks for that one. Um, here's the big DVD sets that I found in partial sets of. Law and Order SVU can sell upwards of $200, so I grabbed the five seasons. This one here as well, Wentworth, if you get all eight seasons, it's worth about 100 bucks. So I've picked up four seasons here, and then I've done really well with Malcolm in the Middle. I'm just one season away from a complete set. Uh, this one goes for over 100 bucks as well. So always buy whatever you can find, and then add to it later. wouldn't believe it. The very next store that I go into, I find Fringe Seasons 1 to 4 to complete the set Seasons 1 to 5 with the Season 5 that I just found in the previous store. So guys, that will go for about 80 bucks. And when I'm talking about partial collects, definitely list up the partial sets that you find and then add to it by amending your listing. There's always a chance that it'll sell in its uh, limited quantity. I've also found this as well. We've got a book set. This is the Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events. All 13 books sell for over $100 as a collector's item. And well, this one right here, I've got a collection of eight books. So I'm thinking about 70 odd dollars I'll, I'll be listing this one up for. And I'm only paying the $10 in store. So even with shipping, uh, this will be some significant profit. Um, so it was just the two items in this store. But again, I can't believe that we're able to find the rest of Fringe. Well, I could not have scripted that any better. <laughs> the very next door. Seasons one to four to complete the fringe set of Caesar series five. That is pretty unbelievable. Um, but that's exactly the point that I'm trying to make there, guys. You can always complete it down the line. Sometimes in the very next door. Oh, this thrift store gave me a very big headache for about 20 minutes in store. I was contemplating whether or not to buy these three pairs of brand new Kyrie 8s. An unreal pair of shoes. $80 though was the price point on each shoe, which sounds like a lot of money. They were all size US 13 and they were all brand new without box. So two of them were the same ones. Uh, and then we had this one here, the Orca colorway as well, but they were all size 13. I think I can sell them for upwards of $160 to $200, and that would net me anywhere between $40 to $60 in profit. Um, so I ended up grabbing them, but I also grabbed these as well. These are the Nimbus 17s, and they sell upwards of about $100 bucks as well in this sort of condition. So this was actually a monster purchase. I spent $260 in store, uh, but we've got some serious value being able to list all of these up for over $100. Bucks. I'm still 50-50 about whether or not I should have bought them. I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments below based on the information I'm about to give you guys on these. First of all, we speak so heavily on this channel about sell-through rate. Assessing the sell-through rate of the Kyrie 8s, there was 71 listed, but there was only 21 sales, which is actually a really bad sell-through rate. Um, so that was a deterrent for me to want to go ahead and buy them. The other deterrent was the fact that they were $80 each, which even though they are brand new, they don't have their original box. And for that reason, I think they might be a slower sell-through rate, um, even more so than what it already is. So $80, the best price I think I can get for these is $200. Um, so 200 that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead with it because that would net a $60 profit. Um, but in the end, I went back to what my goals are as an eBay seller moving forward. I really wanna work on high average sale price stock. These are obviously gonna be $200 listings uh, and quality as well. And Kyrie Irving is obviously in a really interesting position as well at the moment, which I also took in, into consideration. He's no longer with the Nike brand. So these shoes, these Kyrie Irving basketball shoes aren't to be made anymore. And Kyrie Irving, interestingly enough, actually came out in the media and said that he had no involvement with the design and the manufacturing of these shoes. And he actually labeled them as trash. He said that he really didn't rate them and he didn't have any say in the sales of these shoes. So. Does that heighten the interest in the shoe in the sense that the creator and the owner of the shoe doesn't even want them or doesn't even like them? 
I don't know. I just thought that was an interesting little touch for a sneak head out there to maybe want to go ahead and buy this thing. But in the end, I've stuck with my guns. I've gone ahead with the purchase. Remember, at the end of the day, quality stock will always beat bad stock. It just came down to the numbers in the sense of the purchase price at 80 bucks. But I'm still confident we're going to at least be able to make $50 each on these shoes. We're just going to have to probably wait a little bit to get it. After four years of doing this though, I can honestly say that sourcing is definitely the most favorite and most enjoyable part about the process of being an eBay seller, but that is really a day in the life of what I get up to. It's all about sourcing, listing and shipping off goods and trying to generate a profit with good purchase items like the shoes we just went through. Um, so thanks for being here guys for this one. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. It'd be great if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button for us. I'm gonna leave you with another video right here, which was a big sourcing trip out of the local flea market a few weeks ago. Look forward to seeing you over there, guys. We'll see you soon.